Alien Worlds, I brought you how to play a while ago and I've been playing pretty consistently and I thought I would let you know how I've done after 28 days of upgrading my tools. So in this video I'm going to talk about what I think about the project so far, what's going on, what tools I have, and how much money I've made. So if you're interested in that make sure you stay tuned and also let me know how you are doing in this game. If you don't know Alien Worlds, it's a simple game. The basic is you just log in, you click mine, and you go ahead and make Trillium. Trillium can go ahead and be sold for wax, and you can build up your wax that way. If you want to know more about it, the full video of how it works, you probably want to watch that first. I'll put it up top so you can check it out. For this video, we're going to go more about how much money I've made and if I would do it again, is it worth it, and so on. With that said, let's go ahead and jump in. <laughs> Here is my account and I'm at 1.96 trillion because I just cashed out earlier today. I do cash out fairly often and I don't really let it build up. If I go ahead and hit switch tools, you'll see what I'm currently running, which is three basic trillium detectors. I went through and pulled the trigger on three of these on December 30th and I paid about $195 for three of these. So I must be raking in a trillium and I must be rich, right? Not so much. <laughs> Let's go ahead and talk more about everything here. Once I do go ahead and mine, we'll get an idea of how it looks. We're at 1.96. Let's go ahead and hit mine and claim. We'll see if this is a good one or a bad one. I think on average I probably get about a 0.1 on a good day. So it should be, yeah, there we go. So that was a 0.12, so that was a decent one. And that's about what I can see with the three trillium detectors. So am I making a killing? Not really. I've actually only made a little bit because the tools themselves have lost value. I have now know that towards the holidays, all the tools and everything in these games go through the roof, and you shouldn't buy them until they start to come down. So these have went down a bit, but not massively. Before I go ahead and show you how much I made and what I think of all of that, let's go ahead and talk about the project itself. There are some other things you can do in this, like send things to missions, and you can make a good amount on that. You do use the Binance Smart Chain to work with that, so there is a little bit of fee, so the lower missions really aren't worth it. When I originally investigated in this, the higher up missions, though, where you got a lot of Trillium, you had amazing returns, but you had to wait a while. So it's a risk because they're holding on to it, but you're making a good amount. And I was considering going through and doing those missions at the high level. Once I got my next paycheck, I was going to go ahead and upgrade. And then, unfortunately, something happened. I got banned. <laughs> I got marked as a bot. And I don't know how they marked me as a bot because you can obviously tell that I sleep and I don't click all the time. I have no idea, and I know a lot of others that got marked as bots. I understand they have a lot of bot problems. I'm sure most of the players are actually bots, so it's very hard to determine which ones are which. But for me as a player to get banned, that was a red flag. Once I got unbanned, I pulled all my money out of Trillium on the missions, and I withdrew everything here. So now as I play, I'm not keeping a Trillium balance because... I could see that happening again. If I got banned once, I could get banned twice. And maybe next time they don't unban me. So because of that, I'm a little more cautious with this game and I plan to not invest anymore. I do plan on one day selling these tools and hoping to at least break even on the tools but made money while I was playing. Kind of like I borrowed the tools, if you will. At least that's the thought. We'll continue to see how Alien World does. If I could have a guarantee that I wasn't going to get banned again for botting, I would have dumped in probably $500 to $1,000 in missions, and they lost out on that because they banned me. It took about three hours to get unbanned, so at least they did take care of that and got me unbanned. And I know mistakes happen, and I know they have a lot of people they deal with, so nothing against them. It's just that's kind of a red flag for me to not put money in the places when something like that happens. So I'm going to continue to play though. I'm going to be using these until I'm sick of clicking and I'm not there yet, but I'm noticing some other games are less clicking, more strategy, more profitable. And let's go ahead and break down and show you the numbers on this and how it's going for me. 
So these two trillion, basic Trillium detectors are pretty good. We go in the inventory, we can take a look at them here. It's 170 second charge time, mining power of four, and regular power of one, NFT luck zero. So the reason I went with these is because NFTs are not mineable still. I have a feeling they're not going to be mined for a while. The updates are taking a long time. Thunderdome still is not released, and the last thing I saw on it was they're still coming. They're still going. Like, there was no ETA. It didn't sound good. To me, it sounds like third quarter, and that's a long time. So I'm going to ignore the NFT stuff for now because I, I, I don't think they can turn it back on with all the bots. There's just too many bots, and I get it. Since that is not in the game anymore, you might as well go pure Trillium mining. Now, granted, if NFTs come back, those other tools are going to shoot up. So if you have extra, you can always get some of those. I had three standard drills as my backups, but about after everything happened, I decided to sell those two and get that money back, which I kind of broke even on those just to kind of, you know, make sure everything's good. So I have three of these. So every um, I use, I go on icy deserts, which are good. I usually go at zero percent. Right now I'm on Ike. I do this or I do Neri. I go back and forth between them. Um, there's a planet with zero percent on Neri, so I usually go to that one. But this one I saw one percent, and I was like, good enough. So now I'm here for a bit. This is more consecutive, where the other one was ups and downs. And there's a lot of people on that planet, so sometimes it just gets too crazy. So how are we doing here? Let's go ahead and check. We paid 150 for each, so 450 total. The current is 139, so we lost 11 wax on each of them. You can kind of think of it like that, and I do that figured into my ROI because I do want to sell these at some point and hopefully get the profit. So we're down 33. So the total I mined in 28 days was $16.65, which was 54.8 wax. But now, don't forget, our value went down 33 wax. So unfortunately, we've only made 21.8 wax for $6.62 towards the ROI. And this is a lot of clicking. I'm clicking a lot. Probably, if I had to guess, I didn't do the average on this. I would say about 100 times a day. And it was making about a dollar or more, but because wax is lower right now, it's 30 cents at the moment. It was not doing that well. Like the highest I think I've had was like 70 or 80 cents. It hasn't been great with the wax decline. So 28 average days, you're looking at 1.95 wax a day, which is 59 cents for clicking mine about 100 times. And then you got to click claim mine 100 times and you got to click approve 100 times. And then we're looking at an ROI of $6.62 out of our 100 and. 85 which actually that's wrong it's 195 uh so we'll put that so it's probably probably add another month onto that so eta would be about 29 months to get my money back at this rate assuming i the tools keep going down this much if not it would be quicker i'd probably say a little less than half so i would go with about 13 months I would say if the tools stay steady and they don't go down anymore, probably looking around 13 months to ROI. But that's a lot of clicking, and I'm talking about a lot. The only reason that some of these days were bad for me is because CPU usage. Because you got to remember, if CPU usage goes up, you can't click. And if you're trying to do this on a budget, we found out you can't. You have to put money in the CPU. The Alien Worlds team said they pay for the first 23 clicks, but I've had people try in the first click their CPU usage was max. I don't know what they're talking about there. If they're talking about something else, maybe I misunderstood, but that confuses me there. So if you are trying to play this game for free, you can't unless you stake money in your wallet. We've had some people try. We thought we could do it, but it didn't work out. So I'm just giving you that heads up. You have to have money to buy RAM stake in network and stake in cpu to be clear you're looking around two wax into ram two wax in the network and i would say to have a steady session 200 wax inside your cpu that would be nice and smooth also buy three shovels so you instead of clicking every shovel now you get to wait three shovels worth and then click 
So less CPU usage because you're clicking it less. And shovels are like a nickel a piece. So you could get them for like a dime for two. Would I go all out like I did? Uh, it's really hard to say because I'm looking at this and yeah, I lost a lot. But a lot of times I need some extra wax and I don't have it. I just withdraw draw this and buy what I need. So it was a good starter for me. And I'm going to be using it for a while. If I get bored of clickers and I find something else to do, I would probably go ahead and just sell and hope to have everything back. And that means click. So we're at 2.08. Let's see what we get. We're hoping for 2.184 or better. Great. So that was a good click. So CPU usage has been rough with Wax trying to do these 10 million NFTs. So it's kind of been all over the place. I don't know, I still think it's a good game, but I'm starting to have like perspective change in what I like and what works best. I always thought the free to play games were good because you could build up your money, but a lot of times you're trying to build up the stuff inside and it's harder to get the money back. It's really hard in these games I'm noticing to start at the bottom and move up. I'm not saying it can't be done, I'm just saying starting at commons and moving up is a lot harder. I usually see in games like this, starting at rares and up, that's usually where it works. That's where your ROI might come a little quicker. But at this point, you shouldn't worry about ROI. You should be looking at, you know, doing the best you can in the game, having fun and being successful in it. So that's what I have on Alien Worlds. I play a bunch of different games and I just released a video about all the games I do play. I'm gonna go ahead and put it at the end here so you can check that out. Also, I do a giveaway on my Discord Every week I give out a random NFT and I try to give you something towards the game you're playing if you win. So do me a favor, join the Discord, the link's down below, and enter the giveaway. I want to thank you so much for the view and I'll see you in the next one.